Yeah, it's nice to be inside a greenhouse on a morning, the coldest morning so far this year. Here we are, the final Friday in the month of January. We were just seeing some of the uh, visuals earlier on of some of the firefighters that have been working hard, and it's been a tough morning to be working outdoors on a fire. The reason for that, of course, is just the extreme cold. Let's take a look at the winds, wind direction this morning. Winds this morning are a little bit on the lighter side. However, still that same direction, 15 kilometers per hour. That means we still have a slight risk of some flurries today in Toronto, and we're going to still watch some lake effect snowfall that we've been seeing off of Lake Huron. That streamer over through Goderich that's pushed its way in down into London, Stratford, over to Exeter. That streamer has been very persistent over the last 24 hours, continuing to see snow in that area. Once again for Toronto today, mainly overcast guys with just a slight risk of seeing some flurries. Temperatures were sitting at minus 15 right now at Pearson, so we just went below and we just dropped another degree that is. Minus 14 in Aurora, good morning to you. Minus 10 into Burlington and Markham sits at about minus 13. Current wind chills at Pearson, minus 23. Bundle up as you head your way out the door. When will it warm up? We continue to be cold through the weekend, but sunny on Saturday. Sunday, late day into some flurries, overnight into Monday. Warming Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, nice pleasant conditions. Lots of sunshine, temperatures average right around minus one, and flurries on Thursday. Right now we're going to keep an eye on that. It's about a 40% chance. So once again for today, daytime highs, minus six. Afternoon wind chills right around minus 10 this morning, a wind chill of minus 23. Kind of cold, eh, Steph?